Bible prophecy. He did this one to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the Native American Indian. How did he destroy us? What? We hate ourselves. We call ourselves blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, we're in the ghetto. And worst of all, to not around, he gave us this image right here. He gave us this image of the fake Christ. This isn't how Jesus Christ looked like. What happened? Exactly. Christ is not white. He's a black man according to the Bible. So, what is the point of your enemy giving you this? What would he do that for? He gives that to you so you can worship him as a God. So you can see him better than you see yourself. But God said, you're the children of Israel. You're the soul of the earth. You're better than him. Right. But because we didn't hold him to the voice of the Lord thy God, we were forced to worship this image. A lot of you Latinos went through the same thing, but they're down. He did the same thing when Christopher Columbus came on this side in 1492. That's what he did to the Taino Indians. He killed over what? 300 million Taino Indians, Arawak Indians, Aztecs. For what? For no reason. Because why? We broke the law statute of the Most High. But it's your time to awake today. You got to get out this mindset of this America's mindset. Why? Because America's scheduled to be destroyed. Right. America's Babylon the Great. It is going to come down. And Christ is going to take down this nation. Right. And this white man. Read that. Verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Read on. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle fly. As swift as the eagle fly. What race of people today use the eagle as their symbol? America, right? So it's describing somebody who's your enemy. So according to the Bible, so far, who is your enemy? So you can say it louder, so don't be afraid. White people. Right, the so-called white man is your enemy. What about you? Who's your enemy? Yeah, right. Anybody <laughs> Not Right, the so-called white man, he oppressed everybody. He's your enemy. He's the one who taught you Christianity. Matter of fact, a lot of Negroes and Latinos walking around. Next week, they're going to celebrate Thanksgiving. That's, that's all crazy. You shouldn't celebrate Thanksgiving. That's the death of your own people, of the Native American Indians. There's nothing special about that day at all. Read on. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. For example, when the Spaniards came over to 1492 on the island of Santo Domingo, the Tainos didn't understand the language. They spoke like Spanish. So a nation from far, why? Because they came all the way from the other side of the earth just to land in Santo Domingo, Puerto Rico, and they enslaved many of you, they raped them, they destroyed you. Exactly. So I have a question for you, brother. How did the Latinos end up in this part of the world? The Bible explained how the so-called Latinos came to this part of the world. Because that's a lot of history that's hidden from Latinos. A lot of you don't know that you went to slavery before the Negroes. You understand? A lot of you go through that. A lot of you don't see yourself as the same nation with the so-called African-American and Haitians. You think they're your own people, but we're together. We're all a nation together. A nation of priests. The Caucasians, what do you mean? According to the Most High, you are what your father is. There's just such thing as a mixed race. So what you were saying, they say they have African in their race, they have what other races in that white people in their race. You are what your father is. According to the Bible, the seed is according to the dad. So what you're so called what a Puerto Rican, right? Right, so if you had, God forbid, if you were to have marriage with another woman out there, like a Chinese woman, there's no such thing as your kids are going to come out Puerto Rican Chinese. They're just going to come out straight Puerto Rican. You understand? That's how God is. You cannot find mixed race in the Bible. It doesn't exist. It never will. God doesn't operate the same way man operates. Okay. Right? So we're going to show you your history in the Bible, how, you, how the so-called Puerto Ricans came to this part of the land. Because your pastors don't know that. Read that. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 13, verse 40. These are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land 
in the time of Hosea the king. Right. So this happened before the Greek captivity. When Israel was in captivity under Hosea, under the Assyrian captivity, this is Ezra's prophesying what they did, the rest of the ten tribes. This means from what? From Ephraim all the way down. That's the original, right, the original tribe, and you still are this tribe to this day. Who's Hamanazah, the king of Assyria, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters, and so came dead into another land. Right, so after he carried them over the waters, meaning they went all the way somewhere else, you know? But they took his counsel among themselves. Right. So after this, you know, Solomon had his captive. He took us into slavery. So you know what? We went to another water. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go somewhere else too. We are. That they made, that they would live the multitude of the heathen. Right. That they would leave the multitude of the heathen. Who are the heathen? Every nation, every race of people outside the nation of Israel, they're heathens. We are. And when never mankind dwell, and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwell. For example, right? This is what? This side of the world is the new world. Europe is the old world. Why? Because everybody always lived in that part of the world. So they had to come to this part of the world where there was nobody, in, no one was living on this part. So why? They came over here to what? Keep the commandments where they want to be distracted. You know? Verse 42. But in mind, but in mind, they keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. And they enter into Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. Right, so where's the map? There it is. Hold this up for me. So they came by the narrow ways of Euphrates, was, uh, by the narrow passages. So they was coming all the way, like, say, basically the... The Euphrates, they was going all the way around. They had to come all the way around. All right, stay right here because I'm going to show you the history. You know? For the Most High, then show signs for them. Right. The signs the Most High show was what? How to navigate yourself around this. How to come around the rivers. How to navigate. That's what the signs were. You know? And held still the water. Held still the water meaning what? There was no flood. There was no catastrophe that was going to tip the boats over till they were passed over. But through that country, there was a great way to go, namely for a year and a half. So in order for them to get to the new world, there was a great way to go. It took them a year and a half. Now you got to ask yourself, why would it take so long? Because why? They had to make stops. They had to like, repair some of their food. They had to relax and do all that. So it took them a year and a half to come what? To the New World from South Africa, from South America, to the island of Puerto Rico, Santo Domingo, Cuba, North America. Exactly. You know? And the same region is called Astra. And the same region is called Azure. Now, um, hold on, get my book back for me. Hold on. Yeah, he's basically going to show you exactly what that means. This is awesome. It's going to show you that it is a different country. A new land, basically called. So he's going to put it out in history that man actually wrote to prove that the most high, it did occur. Because a lot of time, we don't, we don't tend to read. Black people hate to read. But our history is hidden in the books. You understand what I'm saying? And it shows a Barren Strait too. The Barren Strait doctrine. That they came to the Barren Strait. Right, that's a good point he said, because a lot of times they said they came to the Barren Strait, which is what, an icy cold place. It's impossible, you can't come to the Barren Strait, you'll die. It's all about the earth was frozen for hundreds and hundreds of years. What they call it, right, the Great Ice Age? That's what they called it, right? Yeah. It was the Great Ice Age. It's impossible, you cannot, you, know, you can't do it. That's why, that's white man doctrine. That's not according to the Bible. You cannot find the Great Ice Age in the Bible. It's not recorded. Read. Read that last part again in the Apocrypha. In the same region is called Asur. In the same region is called Azur. Meaning the place where they landed Asa. is called Azur. They named it Azur, but it's called Newfound Land. So now, what we have right here is Azur from the Jewish Encyclopedia. Why we have this? Because why the so-called white man knew who you were. He knows about this. He knows your true history. 
He's not going to teach you because he doesn't want you to wake up to come to the sense of who you are according to the Bible. What? Leave that, brother. Get around that. Azareth, the name of the land beyond the Bread River, far, far away from the habitation of man. Far away from the habitation of man. That's why when the brother is reading the scripture, it says a great way to go. A place where man never dwelt. Read on. In which the ten tribes of Israel will dwell. In which the ten tribes of Israel will dwell. The so-called what? From Puerto Rico? From the so-called Puerto Rico, the tribe of Ephraim, all the way down. You can put that down. From where, the, where the ten tribes of Israel will dwell. So right here, this is what I was talking about. All the way down. These people are the ones that's going to come to this part of the world. What you call it? Native American, Indian, Seminole, Indian, Aztecs, Mayans. You can put that down. We are observing the laws of Moses. Observing the laws of Moses when he read earlier saying, what, they got to keep the commandments. A place where never mankind dwelt that they might keep the law statutes of the Most High. We know? Until the time of the restoration. The time of restoration begins right now. What we're doing, we're bringing our people back from the dead state they're in. Going to that church. Like that guy over there, he's not teaching anything. He just got music played. You have a church down the block. But we're here to wake our people up and show them they are the best people that ever walked the earth. You're the Jews and get out of the sin. Get out of the condition you're in. It's high time to wake up and fix your own neighborhood. Govern your own people. Read on. According to Second Ages, verse 45. Wait, that's what he read. Columbus identified America with, with this land. Columbus identified America with this land. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.